we are at the first day of India Wood with Mr. Jagan Kopyal, who is also the president of Yumabua. A very good afternoon to you. And now that we are back to live events after a long time, how does it feel to be here at India Wood again? Yeah, good afternoon. It's a great, great time. Yeah, I missed it so much. And if you believe it or not, the last exhibition I participated in was India Wood 2020. And since these two years, no exhibition, it was a tough time. Digitalization and everything, yes, it's good. It's great that we are doing it. But real events, that's what we are longing for. And therefore, India Wood is a great, it's a great opportunity for meeting in person again, for meeting customers, partner, and to interact together. And that's what we are human beings are made for. And that's what business is really making interest. Thanks God, it happens now again. Yes, true. So how do you see the market uh, here in Indian subcontinent? Oh, India, it's a great market. And the development, what we can see over the last years is extraordinary. Yeah, we have here 1.4 billion people and a growing middle class and an average age of the people of around 28 years. So there is a demand for woodworking and especially for furniture and all these related flooring and for these things. So if I started in the woodworking industry approximately 20 years ago, yeah, there India was not even in the top 20 of the furniture production countries. Now it it is together with Vietnam on rank number five and this was a development within the last five years unbelievable and it goes without saying and I think it's a matter of fact by the end of 2022 India and Vietnam will overtake Germany and Italy on rank number three and four so then we will have a new order it's China number one in furniture production, it's uh, US number two, and then most probably it will be India number three, and it will be Vietnam number four. So a great development for India. Yes, that was what I was uh, about to ask you, because at the inauguration you mentioned about the India, uh, growth of India and Vietnam in this sector. So if you can elaborate a little more. Yeah, it is. I, I was last week, as I stated already during the inauguration, I was in Vietnam for opening Lights Vietnam. And it was tremendous yeah, to see the development which Vietnam took in the last years. But especially also here in India, we see a great momentum in the industry. That means people are looking for new applications, for latest trends. India Wood is giving these latest trends. And we will also go deeper into later digitalization, automation, and all these things are happening now here in India. And India is getting or is a modern, a modern production place, not only for furniture, but also for flooring and other wood-related uh, technologies. And therefore, it's great that we have India Wood now to introduce the latest trends and technologies to the Indian customers, to the Indian manufacturers. Yes, and so if I can ask, what are your plans going forward in 2022? Oh, as Yumabwa? Uh, yeah, in Yumabwa, it goes without saying we are supporting all the other exhibitions which are taking place. Thanks God they are taking place again. And we want to promote especially the technologies yeah, made or designed in Europe. Because Europe is really setting the benchmark once we are talking about woodworking. It is Italy, it's Germany at the main big countries, but also the smaller countries yeah, like Turkey or Poland. A lot of our member associations, they have companies really setting the pace. And Europe is setting the pace and we want to go ahead with this, even increasing the pace and by supporting European projects where we develop jointly technologies, where we are setting trends. And that is especially my job as a president of Yumabwa to support this, to support the surroundings in order to create yeah, new ideas, new trends. The companies in Europe, they already do it, but we support it. And with this momentum, we will see a great future, especially in our industry, called all of a sudden woodworking is becoming 
interesting. It's becoming sexy. It's sustainable. Yeah, the sustainability. Wood is a sustainable material. And what we are talking about, global warming and all these things, which are very sad. Yeah? And there we have this positive momentum coming from wood, coming from the woodworking industry. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Koppel. No, it was a great pleasure. Thank you.